and so we've got all kinds of seeds started and with the bamboo what we do is dry it out here these are all the big daddies for the flutes and the walking sticks I've moved them over here because of the sun it's kind of cool because sometimes if it gets just one part of the sun it will literally color it that pretty orange and then this one here anyway this one I cannot wait to make a flute out of I'm going to have to cut off that top part but when it hits green there oh man it's going to be a cool little Kenya so these are a lot of work to take those down with the Dremel tool So this is a flute calculator I have, and so it's a 14 length barrel length, and this is what it came up with. I'll show you in a second how I put this together. This is actually for a Native American flute, but I'm using it for the Kenya. I'm like five for five on the Kenyas, and the Native American flutes are very difficult. This right here is the true sound hole on this one, and you can see it right here, here. And so when I do my Kenya calculation, I'm actually doing it from the mouthpiece to, because to me I interpret that as the true sound hole. Now keep in mind, this is completely outside of my comfort zone, so I measured it off. And Okay, here I go with the Dremel tool, and now I'm going to... Here we go. Got it here. started thinking it's my bamboo and I'll just make a flute how I want that fits my hand so I took this Kenya which works perfectly in different octaves and I measured it to my hands and my arm length and I'm gonna just like try it free falling and see what it works Here's my project for the night after working the back. These have all been dried out up against that chain link fence and now I'm going to... I found that these make literally the best sounding fruits yet that I've made when it's this kind of... It's got that square or whatever to it. So I'm going to trim all this up and make some Kenya fruits. Okay, the bamboo's all trimmed up. I used that Gerber and I just kind of went down each node up to about where I thought I might stop. And so I may go up further, but anyway, it was a big old stack. And so now I'm going to start washing it up and making the flute. I'm going to cut the flute and use this piece here. I made a template. It's in tune. I used a formula off the internet. I've been using a different method, and this time I tried actually a pre-arranged, but I put the, look at the, you know there's something wrong here. <laughs> so anyway, but it does work. It's difficult to play, so now I'm going to actually make one. I'm trying to find a similar diameter there, so it's kind of as similar as possible. I've been using a calculator. I'm not much of a mathematician. For the other ones, but I thought, well, let's just find a Kenya 
and what are the actual specific dimensions and let's try it this way so we'll see what happens. Tell from here that that area has been cleaned up. I'm going on the back end. Look how nice it, this stuff is raked up. You can now actually see the fence line. I'm keeping parts of the bamboo and pruning it because I want it to have like this walkable path vibe. So anyway, if you step back, I still got this stuff here to trim up. And then obviously that's all that stuff in the back, but isn't that nice? And then it's all going into this compost lot stuff I've raked up. Danger zone. I could see why this stuff was so dangerous in Vietnam. Because look at that stuff. You could really get hurt. So I know the path because I've walked it a bunch of times. But beware if you try to sneak on my property. So anyway, this has all been... I don't know, it was a tree that was dead that Daniel cut up, and there's a bunch of stuff along the fence line here for us to clean up. But as you can see, the archaeological dig site, and there were lots of dead branches back here that I've pulled out and thinned this amazingly much more viable to go through. And it's really cool. All this has been thinned out. And then, whoa, there's a lot, whoa, look at that pretty piece, whoa, that's cool. So, can you see the house? Probably not. See this, like, trash, I cleared up so much trash back here, more trash. This house. That's a movie, the... Uh, Light Witch Project. Okay, here, look. Ooh, haunted house, maybe. No, it's not a haunted house. It's a house on our property, which means it has good vibes. So, this is going to be torn down. And I want to show you this tree. I've never seen it on this side. In fact, I've never touched it. So look at this huge tree. I've seen it from the other end. Oh, no, we're not even near it. These are just big pieces of it. Look, oh, somebody saw it. Wow. All right, well, I, I never think about this tree when I walk through here. I've never walked on this side. So, let's go over here. that house. Okay. Should have gloves on. And so soon all this will be cleared out. This is what I've been working on all summer. That part we just went through that was so easy, that's how that used to look like this. Look at this. See, I've only seen it since... Oh! Whoa. That's a huge tree. I'll put that to something when we clear to it. But look at this. Pretty crazy. Pretty big. Okay, so let me get through here. If you ever need a stump person to go through bamboo, I'm available for hire. And I also um, can do speaking parts. So, see what the surveyors did. Which it's all good. I've cleared some of this out actually. Post was with two owners ago, Oof. and here I am. <laughs>